Hey everyone, I hope you had a really good Christmas and New Year's and you're ready to start this year off 2020 with a bang and get some really good embroidery in. Uh, this is our first uh, sew along of the year, the January sew along. It's the Heart of Fold Cushion. In this two part series, you'll be able to follow along with Alyssa as she teaches you step by step how to make this beautiful cushion. Welcome everybody to the first sew along of 2020. This month, we will be sewing the beautiful Heart of Fold Cushion. Begin by hooping up your desired hoop. There are three different sizes for this design, the 4x4, 5x5 and the 6x6. We made our cushion using the 5x5 blocks. Place a piece of batting, this will be batting 1, on top of your hoop and then stitch down. Now trim away the excess batting but you will want to be careful not to cut any of the stitching. Next, stitch the placement line for the left hand side of the background. Place your first piece of fabric A right side up on top of the hoop covering the placement line. Stitch the fabric down. As you can see while my fabric is being stitched down I am carefully using my hands to smooth out the fabric. This will reduce any creases, pleats and bumps. You can also use a tool, we sometimes use a tool called the purple thang to help you do this. Using your applique scissors, trim the fabric but only along the right hand edge. We don't want to trim any of the fabric in the seams. Our next step is to embroider this beautiful heart quilting. We wanted our quilting to really stand out and be the main feature of our blocks. That is why we used a plain denim fabric as the background and then we used a bright red thread for the stitching on top. Now that we have finished the quilting, we need to finish the right hand side of the background. Use the trimmed edge of the first fabric A piece as the placement line for our second fabric A piece. Place the fabric wrong side up on top of the hoop and have about a quarter of an inch of one of the longer edges crossing over that, that trimmed edge. The excess fabric will be on top of the first piece of fabric A. Stitch down in place. Once stitched, fold over and pull the fabric against the stitching. Stitch this piece in place again. There is no need to be trimming this piece of fabric, the excess fabric will be hidden in the seams later on. Our next step is to stitch the placement line for the first half of the heart applique. Place the first fabric B piece right side up on top of the hoop covering the placement line and stitch down. Again, using our hands or a tool to help smooth everything out. Using your applique scissors, trim all the way around the applique piece.
Now embroider the last section of the quilting. Once the quilting has finished, repeat the stitch down fold over process for the second half of the heart using the second fabric B piece. Use a straight trimmed edge of the first half of the heart as a placement line. Trim around this applique piece. Be very careful not to trim any of the stitching. To finish off our block, embroider the satin stitch around the full heart. We used a bright white thread that would stand out against the denim and the red. Remove your block from the hoop. Using a ruler and rotary cutter, trim the seams back to half an inch. Well done, you've now finished your first block. The steps that we just went through are the exact same for blocks 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The only difference is the quilting on the heart applique. For blocks 6 and 7, steps 1 to 3 from the first 5 blocks are the same. The difference between these two blocks and the first five blocks are that there is no background quilting and there is only one piece of applique for the heart. When we get to step four, use a stitch down fold over process for the right hand side of the background and use a fabric A piece. Do not trim this piece of fabric. The excess fabric will be hidden in the seams later on. Stitch the placement line for the heart applique. Place fabric B right side up on top of the hoop covering the placement line. 
stitch this piece down. Trim the excess fabric from around the heart. Embroider the satin stitch around the heart. Stitch the embroidery. There are two lots of embroidery on the heart applique. These are steps 9 and 10. Once the embroidery is finished, remove the block from the hoop and trim the seams back to half an inch. Blocks 8 and 9 are pretty much the exact same as blocks 6 and 7, but the only difference is that blocks 8 and 9 have a decorative stitch that goes around the inside of the heart. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please see our second video on how to complete the Heart of Fold cushion.